Hello, this is Chip from 5th Edition Visions, and I'm here to talk about my favorite candy that I like to bring, or I like to see, or I like to purchase at the local card shop, or anytime. Um, you can see on the screen right here, it is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You probably have nothing against these, um, and you probably like them too, but I wanna talk a little bit about them simply because I like them so much, and if you wanna hear me talk about Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, you are in for a treat. So. I liked these as a kid, and then I went through a phase where I didn't like them because for Easter, when I was a little boy, I got a whole Easter basket full of them. And I gorged myself on Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I ate and ate and ate, and I remember distinctly watching television with my family, and there was this Goodyear tire commercial, and they were talking about how the tires are awesome in rainwater, and they you know, you know know do all this traction because it was at that moment of the commercial that I was eating the peanut butter cup and I suddenly felt sick. Um, and I knew at that point that I had eaten too many. And I think I actually may have actually been coming down with something because I do remember like throwing up that night and the next couple days not feeling well. So maybe, you know, I would have been sick anyway, but eating a whole bunch of these kind of amplified the sickness and it made me walk away from Reese's peanut butter cups for a short while. Because I remember being a little boy and loving them. Then I had this period, uh, couldn't eat them. But then it was a couple of years later, when I, about when I was in high school, um, a little older, that I started loving them again. So what's so great about them? Well, first off, they're Hershey. And Hershey is the greatest uh, chocolate company that we have for numerous reasons. Technically, Reese's is actually a subsidiary, um, a, a subsidiary of Hershey. Hershey, um, but you know, they're the same thing. So if you're buying her Reese's peanut butter cups, the money is going to Hershey, which is then going to, you know, Hershey corporation, you know, fun stuff like that. Um, if you didn't know the, the Reese's, the, the guy that it's named after, um, uh, was HB Reese. And he was actually inspired by Hershey to start his own, uh, chocolate company. And then it was successful. And then it was ultimately merged with, with Hershey's chocolates. So that's why it says Hershey on the back. Um, so it was a company guy inspired by Hershey came together. Boom. Okay. Why do I like Hershey so much? Well, they make great products. That's fantastic. Um, but also, uh, Milton Hershey, uh, was this guy who took this idea of chocolate and chocolate was something that used to be, you know, something for the elites for the 1%. Wealthy people, privileged people got to enjoy decadent chocolate. It was something for, for those people to enjoy. It was his idea to say, whoa, 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 wait a minute. If we can find a way to make this affordable um, and produce it on a large scale, um, chocolate can be for everybody. Everybody can have chocolate. That'd be a great idea. Um, and so he democratized chocolate, something that was once a luxury for the 1%. Boom, he brought it to everybody which is something that I love. That's a very nice thing to do. Um, and it also kind of makes me resent the 1% a little more today. Cause if you, if you read about these nasty comments, on like, um, you know, the New York times or the Boston globe will have this article about junk food, the junk food epidemic, and all these hoardy torty people will write in the comments. I never let my child eat at McDonald's. I never give my child Easter candy or God forbid, if I let my child have a Reese's peanut butter cup, it's ridiculous. These people, because they know that now chocolate has been democratized. It's something for the hoi polloi. It's something for the riffraff to enjoy, pick up from their local Walmart and gorge themselves on. Ho, ho, ho. That's not for us. So they look down upon it. Same thing with Coca-Cola. Oh my gosh. Coca-Cola is the most delicious drink that you can have. If Coca-Cola, John McWhorter, who's a linguist, I believe, um, in some university in California, he brought up a really good point that if Coca-Cola was this, uh, you know, sacred drink that you could only get in the, the, the Brazilian rainforest during some religious ceremony. It was only ma manufactured by the, tr the chief medicine man elder, you know, once every full moon or on the, the winter solstice or whatever, and you had to pay lots of money to go and experience this drink. It would be called the greatest thing on the planet. But it's because it's democratized, that it's everywhere, you know, that the 1%, the elite people, they look down upon it. They say, oh, that's disgusting. I don't even like that. Bullcrap. Coca-Cola is delicious. Same thing with the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. It's only because everybody else is doing it that their interior hipster of the wealthy people, they like to look down upon it and say they do not care for it. Well, they're lying. Um, they're being disingenuous with their self and they're missing out on something delicious. Okay, um, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, also awesome because it comes in all these different packagings during the holidays. Okay, so you got the ghosts. 
You got the, the peanut butter cup ghosts during Halloween. You get the peanut butter cup Christmas trees during Christmas. But we all know the best is the Reese's peanut butter cup egg at Easter time. And that's the granddaddy of them all because I don't think they would be making the ghosts or the trees if you didn't have the peanut butter egg. Okay, that has the largest amount of peanut butter, the least amount of chocolate, which is not that the chocolate's bad, but the peanut butter's why you're going for the Reese's in the first place. Let's not get ourselves. So you you get the most of that in the in the peanut butter egg. Okay. Now, I do remember when I was a boy seeing a Reese's peanut butter cup commercial where some woman talks about how she likes to eat her Reese's peanut butter cups out of the free out of the freezer. And there was no wrong way. <laughs> To eat a Reese's. That was, a, you know, the great tagline when I was a kid. And it sold me. Now I'm doing free advertising for them by talking about how great this candy is on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so this woman put it in the freezer and I thought, gee, that looks like a good idea. So I started putting my Reese's peanut butter cups in the freezer too. In fact, right now I have some in the freezer right now, which is what inspired me to make this video. Uh, so yeah, I like them cold in the freezer. Now my wife, my wife is not a fan of that. She does not like them in the freezer. She thinks that it gives the chocolate this kind of freezer burn. Um, to each their own, I suppose. But, you know, I like them. I like them cold. But I wouldn't. I, I certainly wouldn't turn them away if they were not in the freezer, you know. Okay, now let's talk about the, the other things from the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, you know, that you can think about during your Magic the Gathering games or whatever. Um, I'm not a fan of the small ones, the individual ones that you wrap up, you know, you can put inside a stocking or you can leave on a, a table for a meeting at work. I don't like those. Some people do. I don't begrudge them. But there's too much chocolate. I want the peanut butter. So, you know, I, I kind of pass on those. I'm not going to big buy a big thing. Although I do, I am a sucker for when they do it like on the holidays um, and they might have a little bag where there's like the red ones and the green ones and the white ones, you know, just the Christmas colors. I think that's very aesthetically pleasing in a bowl, on a table, at the office or at home. I do, but I just won't eat it um, because I want to save my calories for a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup that packs the peanut butter punch. Am I right? I think I'm right about this. Reese's Pieces, they're okay. I like them. They're good. Um, I had a bad experience with them at a rest stop way, way, way when I was a boy. I was so sad because I looked at the, I, I, I looked at the, at the, the, the vending machine at the rest stop on a hot summer day. And I said, you know, because how oftentimes do you actually get something at a vending machine when you're a kid? Okay. There was like three or four of us. Okay. Us kids and my family growing up. And I wanted the Reese's Pieces. So finally, my dad says, we're going to get you something out of the vending machine. So that's what I pick. I said, I want the Reese's Pieces. They come out, and for some reason, they're like all melted and gross inside. I was so, so crestfallen because I really couldn't eat it. It was just like this gooey glop of peanut butter. It was all over my hands and fingers. I complained to my dad about it. He felt bad, and he said, well, son, maybe we can write a letter to the vending machine company, which, of course, never happened. But so anytime I open up a bag of Reese's Pieces now, I always dread, will they all be melted inside like that rest stop way back in 1989 or whenever that happened to be? Um, that's never happened again. It never happened since. So don't let that stop you from buying Reese's Pieces, which by the way, Reese's Pieces belong on the ice cream sundae, not M&M's. Okay. Oh, also E.T., the extraterrestrial Steven Spielberg, alien in the bike on the milk crate flying past the moon. What did he eat? Reese's Pieces, not M&M's, Reese's Pieces. Another, you know, chalk up for popular, popular culture there. You eat the Reese's Pieces. Um, anything else? Oh, yeah, the, the, I love when they do the Reese's Pieces. Re, re, no, back to Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That's what this is about. When they do the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and the white chocolate ones, I'm game for that. Sometimes they'll actually sneak Reese's Pieces into the Peanut Butter Cup. I'm game for that, too. The monster ones, the big ones, game for that. The king size, OMG. You go to Walmart, you go to the store, boom, there it is. One, two, three, four peanut butter cups inside that nice long orange packaging. Oh, love it. Grab it, grab and go, grab the groceries, rip them up, eat four of them in the car. You're good to go. A lot of calories, but hey, you know, you earn those calories, you know, you go run them off, go do something else. Um, so I like that. I love the packaging. Look at them. It's just aesthetically pleasing. that orange and that orange. If you look on the back of the package, it's actually trademarked that color orange. So you can't be making your own candy and make it that shade of orange. You know, Hershey will go after you, as they should, because they have put a lot of uh, goodwill and capital into that shade of orange, okay? Um, the orange and black and yellow color scheme, it's very autumn -y, almost naturally a Halloween kind of color. And who doesn't like to receive Reese's Peanut Butter Cups uh, during Halloween and fall? Probably the, the undisputable king of all seasons 
you know, the color shades right there with the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup packaging. So I really don't know what more I can say about this. It's delicious. I'm hoping this has motivated you maybe to pick up some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups on your way home. And the next time you go to your pre-release or you go to your draft or you're just at your local comic shop and you have a hankering for some food for a snack, and you want to support your local comic shop, or your, I say comic shop because my store is a card and a comic shop, but you could, yours just might be a card shop, which is fine. Um, buy a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, okay? You're supporting a great company, an American company, Hershey, hello, you're supporting it, but then you're also supporting your local uh, card shop by purchasing your snack there instead of bringing it in. Oh, nice little story about Hershey since I'm talking about it and you've gotten this far in the video. Did you know that not that long ago, less than a year ago, Mondelez, which is this, uh, the conglomerate that owns uh, Nabisco and a whole bunch of other stuff, um, Chips Ahoy, uh, maybe Wheat Thins too, all, you know, a, a bunch of snack food, a bunch of food. Uh, they, an hideous name, Mondelez, they're, they're, they had people make it up and it's, it's I think it, it's, it means nothing. Um, uh, but, 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 but they offered to buy Hershey. They said, Mondelez says, you know what? Hershey, we want you. We're going to offer to buy Hershey, which means they're going to buy the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup company, okay? Because subsidiary of Hershey, hello. So they would be buying Reese's Peanut Butter Cups too. And uh, <laughs> their plan was they were going to give, you know, pay whatever, you know, 10% more per share, whatever Hershey was to, to, to buy the company. And they were going to keep the Hershey name because Mondelez is a horrible name for a company. So uh, they were going to, they said, you know what? We're going to buy you out, except we're going to move to Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we're going to call the company Hershey. Do you like it? And Hershey said, <laughs> no, thank you. You're undervaluing our company. No, 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 no. We're going to be ourselves. Thank you very much. Which is a good move. Um, I wouldn't have begrudged it uh, simply because if they had bought them out, I was very pleased with that idea of Hershey keeping its location and its identity because Hershey, I think, is one of the top five, you know, iconic companies in America, like perhaps right after Coca-Cola, you know, maybe Ford, uh, you know, those types of things. And so to, to lose the, 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 the Hershey company name to something as hideous as Mondelez um, would, uh, you know, it would be a turnoff for me. But anyway, yeah, wow, neither here nor there. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, they're in my freezer now. I like to eat them at uh, my local card shop when I play games, as should you. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What are your experiences with the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hey, have a fantastic and sweet and delicious day. Bye bye